Like, if you didn't do anything, there'd be some fighting back. Yeah. I'm not, you're not going to... Thank you, Schultz. That's what people listen to podcasts for. Who knows exactly why, but with major rants interrupting everybody to state points about songs he hasn't even listened to. Andrew Schultz, everybody. As my comment section said on the Shane Gillis Drake video, Andrew was probably trying to get Drake on flagrant, so that might be the motive behind being extremely pro-Drake for months of podcasts, while being a casual listener of everybody involved in the beef. Andrew values clout level and views, media personality DJ Academics is Drake's number one fan and connected to OVO, and no surprise at this point has had his own allegations resurface. He was exposed for SA charges in January, but now with Rolling Stone running this article, if found guilty of such heinous acts in court, his career will be over. The alleged video evidence is on Twitter and it's absolutely horrendous. Thankfully it doesn't show the assault as it's from the academic streaming room camera being accidentally left on. Plus his DNA evidence has appeared in the kit, so nice job Schultz. Platform the guy with endless accusations defending the other guy with endless accusations. I cool. haven't even listened I'm to all this diss so How is so so happening to stuff, your stream? <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 Academics even admitted to Drake's alleged tendency to sleep with every friend or business partner's wives or girlfriends he's had like he did with Lil Wayne's girl when he went to jail. Drake, even as much as I defend you, you got, you're got like a serial f up man. But what is coming across like you don't got no goddamn morals, you don't got no integrity. Everybody knowing you for f or everybody's girl. Schultz on multiple podcasts now has repeated that there's zero evidence for Kendrick's claims about Drake. While it's foul as to create this narrative that Drake's a pe which he is not. Even though Drake did pay off the SA case in 2019 for 500,000, his close friend Barker does have a weird case. Why is he around? And again, he's on camera doing all of this even after finding out she's underage. <laughs> But just like DJ Academics allegations or Logan Paul scams, Flagrant will ignore that, have them on for views, and obey them when they say don't mention this topic. For Logan that was CryptoZoo, in Drake's case they are pretending the 17 year old on stage clip does not exist, just like Academics did, as to not bring more negative attention. There's no way they haven't seen it with how heavily circulated it has been since Kendrick dropped. Schultz is that goddamn loss that he's instead arguing about when the songs came out. And it was right before I was going on. Saturday. No, no, it was Friday night. May 4th, Not Like Us, came out, I think, Saturday. In the morning. I was... <laughs> there was some song that came out, I thought it was before Saturday. Can this man do five minutes of research before subjecting us to this? Cheers. What if 14 years from now, Drake's kid is listening to Meet the Grams and now he got questions? I know. Well, wait, wait, so wait, what is what was said about uh, Drake's... This thing. What did Kendrick say about Adonis on Meet the Grams? I don't know, Andrew. The song only starts with Dear Drake's Son, I'm sorry Drake is your father, let me be honest. But Schultz has to stop the entire room's conversation, give back to back to back points that don't make any sense. It's, but, it's too many songs. It's too, it, it, <laughs> but, 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 too many songs. But that's yeah. what also makes six it, minutes long. It's like, uh, what's going on here? But that's like, what also makes it the greatest rap feud ever. Yeah. Does, the fact yeah, does that it? all of these guys, Kendrick and Drake, decided to put out this much music and everything was high quality. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. Too many songs, too long. That was the best battle ever. Was it? Who is this combative about something they didn't have enough interest to listen to or finally, after this many podcasts, says they're a casual listener of? He clearly looks bored through this whole segment. Significantly smaller, and he's never been- I'm not significant. He's never I'm been smaller. considered number one. He's been considered number one amongst music heads. Yeah. And even when music heads say it, it's the same way as when people were like, Prince is better than Michael Jackson. It's like, Oh, that's cute. Carl Malone is the MVP, not Michael Jordan. That's adorable. Except Michael Jordan's statistics are objective. Music is a lot more subjective and awards can be bought. I mean, 1989 beat to Pimper Butterfly, Macklemore beat Good Kid Mad City. Having accessible pop music like most have said. Like, is Drake hip hop? Why are you doing mm. this to me? Drake is pop. Because we're here pop. for truth. We're here for truth. Drake is, Drake is pop to me. Of course Drake gets more numbers than everybody but Taylor Swift. He's a talented hit maker. But that doesn't mean Drake's peers, hip hop fans, or critics will respect his discography the way they do Kendrick, Outkast, MF Doom, etc. 
This is not the NBA, Andrew, but solid analogy. Maybe he should have heard the songs as he's simping for the guy in the story who said, I wouldn't look twice at no teenager, so you'll look once, Drake. If he wrote that himself, he didn't think it through. If Daylight or another ghostwriter wrote that, they don't want him to win, especially when there's bizarre stuff like this out there. And even when asking people on the streets in Toronto, Canada, most Canadians were surprisingly pro-Kendrick. Kendrick. Oh. In Toronto, everybody's saying Kendrick, wow. The best Drake fan reactions I saw had reasons like... I'm sorry, do you see Drake? <laughs> wow. I think That's it's because right. the video I saw of Drake, yeah, the wow. leak. Oh. Oh. And... I love his raps. I like his hairstyle. What do you think about the other guy? I don't want to say his name. Canadian restaurant New Ho King that Drake frequented have announced a fried rice dip sauce meal like the Kendrick Euphoria lyric. But for Drake's hometown and for his demographic of younger girls to be catching on to his suspicious allegations, uh, really not looking good for Drake. Kendrick exposed some very harsh truths in the reality of hip hop and unraveled the thing not just about Drake, but a lot of artists. I mean, just off the hard part six alone, Schultz is defending a guy guy who said only effing with Whitney, not Millie Bobby Brown. Hilarious that he said this as Kendrick never mentioned Drake Strange hanging out in hotels in Australia with a 13 year old actor relationship, but Drake does, which drew more attention to it. Trying to get ahead of the allegations by saying in Tupac's voice on TaylorMade Freestyle, Talk about him liking young girls, that's a gift from me. Heard it on the Button podcast, it gotta be true. Talk about paranoia. There's way more evidence than Joe Budden talking about it. Drake tried to 8 mile himself so Kendrick couldn't use it against him. But Eminem said I am a white trash trailer park boy, not I'm Jimmy Savile. You can't get ahead of allegations like that. Schultz really needs to research what he's saying. There's a reason Drake's response is on the way to 2 million dislikes for the first time in his career. Drake also misinterpreted Kendrick's song and shamed him for being a victim of a predator. Not a good angle when you've just been accused of being a predator. This man really said he's a war general after being called a colonizer. It, it doesn't, it, it writes itself. This man said Kendrick is abusive and then did a shout out to Chris Brown on the same song. It's definitely a weird hill for Andrew Schultz to die on, but maybe Drake allegedly has flagrant on the payroll to get such positive coverage for the last few months. They spoke about that man like he was the only rapper that ever existed. Really, it was number one hit maker versus number one album maker. It's up to you what you value more. He gives us the hard part six. No, Drake, you were supposed to come back with a record. Yeah. yeah. A song. Yeah. You were supposed to come back with it your own disc bop. Yeah. Cat Williams really must have let a curse loose on every hidden alleged scumbag in January 2024. It's been a wild five months. As I finish this, Drake finally rapped over Metro Boomin's BBL Drizzy AI beats not long after Andrew Schultz said he should. Drake should drop a song on BBL Drizzy. Drake's response to rumors of getting a butt lift was, I send that many girls to become Kardashian clones. My surgeon gives me free butt lifts. Ah, yes, th that'll show them, Drake. 10 out of 10. One girl alleges it's a known thing in LA that his entourage invites young high school girls back to the mansion, and sometimes there is no Drake, and it's just his dad. Again, who knows if that's true. Then the other was copyright struck off Twitter, so I won't be showing clips, but she's the underage girl that was in Ice Spice's music video recently. She spoke about this, she got scared instantly as if Drake already and she started fumbling over her words and started saying the wrong thing. Oh, I can't confess to that? That's a Freudian slip if I've ever saw one, bro. What do you mean confess? Has it happened already? To play Drake's advocate, both situations could simply be to clout chase and gain TikTok followers and there's no proof yet. There's just Drake's past behavior going viral again that isn't helping public perception, but legally he hasn't been charged with anything as of now. But it's clear in hip hop culture who won. And simply put, Drake has way more evidence than Kendrick had evidence that he's this type of singlet. Andrew might know that if he'd heard the songs he's so passionate about. As a lot of the music channels have said, like Sean C, if Kendrick's claims are true, they're not listening to Drake anymore. These are major accusations with some actual smoke and weird moments to fuel speculation. People will either forget when he drops his next hit, or it's going to either end up in court like Michael Jackson, or Drake's 2019 case, or that time he was almost called into XXXTentacion's deposition as X once tweeted, 
If I pass, it was Champagne Poppy, aka Drake. X later claimed he was hacked, but theories still circulate today of alleged involvement. Daylight, a battle rapper who has ghostwritten for Drake for years, has said on tracks and in interviews that Drake was allegedly involved in setting it up, but again, nothing is proven and it's all speculation. Hotline Bling 2 coming soon, so everybody start dancing and please forget everything. At least I'm sure that's what UMG are hoping for their billion dollar boy. It's just so much funnier that Schultz isn't even a Drake stan like that, yet goes to bat for him like... The best way to explain the Drake problem to someone like Schultz, the best song he's ever released was Someone Else's. The reaction Andre's Life of the Party vs God or Solo on Frank Ocean's Blonde, that's the reaction from the culture that Drake's looking for. The respect that Drake has always wanted. His his ability to describe the human experience that poetically yeah. is crazy. All time, he's definitely top 10. Aubrey, you made one mistake. He shouldn't have did this. Oh, I see why it's a mistake. Because this is better than everything. As he has been clowned since the very moment he stepped into the spotlight. Much worse than that, he has a long way to go to fight public opinion against clips like these. Drake knows he's not a and, and, you know what I mean? Like, and, so if, and if you're a no. Drake or Kendrick? I love Kendrick by far. Oh.